Are you someone struggling to make good tasting short of espresso? Here are 5 simple steps that you can follow to help you calibrate your coffee and make better tasting short of espresso. It's not only about making good short of espresso, but also fixing the common challenges when it comes to brewing good shot of espresso like a sour or a bitter shot of espresso an over or under extracted shot of espresso this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide for beginners from start until the end this is a very important skill for baristas that enables them to adjust the different parameters so that they can be able to make a good shot of espresso hey beginner baristas this is a simple coffee making guide that is going to help you to master how you can make a good shot of espresso i'm going to be showing you how you can calibrate your coffee so that you can make the best testing shots of espresso like a professional barista and if you're an aspiring barista this is the knowledge that you're going to need when you go in for your next interview because they will ask you to calibrate your coffee and make good tasting espresso if it's your first time hearing about coffee calibration this is a very important barista skill that every professional barista must learn and master very well it enables them to make good shot of espresso and consistent in taste each time here are the five major parameters that you need to focus on when you're calibrating your coffee in order starting with the first one which is the coffee beans the second one which is the grain size the third one which is the dose that you're going to need the fourth one which is the yield out and the fifth one which is the time of brewing your shot of espresso these five barometers are going to be the five steps that we're going to use in the process of calibrating our coffee we're going to first understand the type of coffee beans that we're going to use for calibration find the right grain size for the best extraction of our espresso the dose the yield out and the time of brewing our espresso we are going to join them all together as our espresso brew ratio this is a pack of coffee beans that i bought for this video I want to show you the full process because I have never used this coffee to make a shot of espresso and I'm even using my home espresso machine but this same knowledge I'm showing on this home espresso machine you can use it as a beginner when you go in for your next barista interview we're going to be starting with the coffee beans for you to be able to dial in your espresso you're going to need to know what type of coffee beans you're using for your shot of espresso this is an Ida signature blend a blend coffee bean this means it has two origins meaning it has brazil and el salvador it has been roasted on a medium roast and you can also check for the roast date this is a very important thing that you need to check when you're buying your coffee because you're going to need freshly roasted coffee beans these coffee beans were roasted on the 21st of february just last month Then next, we're going to be looking at the coffee grind size. Two keywords that are indicated on each coffee grinder, coarse and fine. Coarse means the bigger particles of the coffee beans and the fine means the smaller particles of the coffee beans. The first thing before starting to grind your coffee, you need to first ensure your coffee grinder is set on the extreme fine grind size between one and two. This is going to give you the starting point when you're grinding your coffee. After extracting the first shot of espresso, you will know whether you need to adjust your espresso grinder on a coarser grind size or leave it on a fine grind size. So as you have seen, the espresso was flowing very fast. This means you need to adjust your espresso grinder on a fine grind size. But before adjusting your espresso grinder, you need to find a brew ratio so that you can know exactly what you need to adjust. It might be a problem with the dose. If you have less amount of coffee grinds in your basket, this can also lead to a fast flowing your espresso. Then the coffee brew ratio and the brew time is going to guide you on adjusting the different grind size until you can have the perfect extraction. You're going to need to have specific amount of coffee as your dose and, and your yield out of espresso at a given period of time. This is called the coffee brew ratio or the espresso brew ratio. 
this is one of the most important things before you start extracting your shot of espresso you need to have an espresso brew ratio that you're going to need to follow you can use the most basic or the standard brew ratio which is the ones to two ones to two means each one gram of grinded coffee is equivalent to two ml of water while extracting your shot of espresso you're going to need 20 grams of grinded coffee then multiply 20 by 2 so that you can get 40 ml as our yield out for espresso then you're going to need a time which is the 25 to 30 seconds since i'm using a home espresso machine which has a smaller pot filter basket so i'm going to be using 18 grams as my grinded dose of espresso then i'm going to wear a yield out of 36 which is my yield out for espresso on a time of 25 to 30 seconds if i can achieve a 36 ml yield out of my espresso on a 25 to 30 seconds this is more likely going to be a good testing shot of espresso so let's start by grinding in our coffee and extracting our shot of espresso one key coffee tool that you're going to need in this process is a weighing scale you're going to need a weighing scale which has a timer or you can get a timer to time your espresso so that you can know the exact brew time which is going to guide you on adjusting your coffee grinder when i start my grinding i'm going to aim for 18 grams i set my grinder on a fine grind size after grinding i need to weigh it on a weighing scale to check if i'm having 18 grams if it's less i'm going to grind more if it's more i'm going to reduce it until i can have exactly 18 grams then i'm going to distribute then evenly thump my coffee in the pot filter basket not with too much force but make sure to be able to thump your coffee grains evenly in your pot filter basket after distributing i'll back flash my espresso machine Put my weighing scale and also put my espresso cup and start my extraction the moment i start my extraction i start my timer this is going to help me to verify if i'm having the ideal brew time of my espresso as you can see the espresso is flowing very slow this means i'm going to need to adjust my coffee grind size on a coarse grind size when you see a slow flowing espresso this means the water from the espresso machine is finding it hard to penetrate the coffee bed and give you the good extraction. Stick on a coarse grain size. Make sure to adjust one barometer at each time. You adjust your coffee grinder on a coarse grain size by two clicks. Then follow the same steps. going to weigh your dose which is 18 grams then distribute and tamp your coffee then we're going to extract again and set our timer This is our ideal extraction of our espresso and when it comes to the testing of our espresso this is going to be a well balanced shot of espresso because we have followed the parameters that we need when you are calibrating your coffee. The most important thing you should focus on when you are extracting your shot of espresso is the brew time and also the flow of espresso. If you are less than 25 seconds this means your espresso is flowing very fast and if your espresso has exceeded 30 seconds of extraction your coffee grains are very fine and you're going to need to adjust them on a coarse grain size if you're finding it hard to understand each of these details at your first time you can ask a barista when you go in for your interview or if you're buying the coffee i would recommend for you to buy coffee from a local roaster or if not buy it from a coffee shop 
in this process a barista is going to give you all the knowledge that you're going to need to know about that coffee beans so that it makes your work easy when you're calibrating your coffee at home this is one of the key things that is going to enable you to have a good extraction of your espresso if you follow this beginner's guide you can be able to make a good testing shot of espresso but one thing i would like to let you know as a beginner barista this is only a beginner's guide and this is a beginner's brew ratio for making espresso most of the coffee shops depending on the different factors they have different brew ratio for espresso so one of the key factors that always lead to changing the different brew ratios of espresso is the different roast profile of the coffee beans this is why i would recommend you to watch this video next because it's a full guide showing you the difference on how you can brew a good cup of coffee using a light roasted coffee bean a medium roasted coffee bean and a dark roasted coffee bean